Hola, my members of la familia. My number is Amaro Dago. Some benvenidos de nuevo a mi canal. And to my English subscribers, hello family members. My name is Amaro Dago and you're welcome back to my channel. If you're just joining me for the very first time, I'm originally from Nigeria and I bring to you content based on how you can obtain your visas, immigration news and how you can live your best life right here in España. If you think you can relate to that kind of content, please do well to consider subscribing by pressing the red subscribe button down below. Turn on your bell notification so whenever I post, you'll be the first to get notified liking this video if you like my kind of content sharing this content to other people you think may need problem solving videos just like this ones and leaving your thoughts on the said topic or subsequent topics you will love to see here on my channel disclaimer i'm not an immigration lawyer neither am i a recruiter this video is brought to you based on my own personal research and experience so do well to do your research before you take that next step <laughs> clicked on the content you know that you need this video and you should watch to the very end this video is important because i get several people in my game asking me what do i need in order to start my process of applying for admissions in spanish universities all right so now if you are coming for countries that are not under the eu or under the eeu countries so that means you need to first do this number one if you're coming for your bachelor's you need your YEC set right but if you want to enter a public university in spain there's something they call competency exams this exam is done in spain and in the u.s in some other european countries it, if it's not done in your own country you need to come into spain to do it that competency exam is like their equivalence for jump in nigeria so that competency exam you must write it how this write jump where you do english math then you choose some other four courses that are related to what you want to study that is how this competency exam is as well so you need to understand that most public universities request for this competency exam it has to be passed this is your access into spanish university but if for instance you want to enter into a private university then you don't need to write this competency exam because private universities set their own exam for you when you pass you enter just like how you find it in your country and there are some other schools as well that do not require competency exam which is catholic universities these ones if you have competency exam they will accept if you don't have they have options that they will also accept you but the tuition fee for this two that i've called out now are not the same with what you get for public universities and for undergraduate courses basically is a four-year course or five-year course you know you have to be timesing it by these years so if you want something affordable then you may need to write this competency exam all right there are several schools that their work is to teach you how to sit for this competency exam that's what they do the whole whole year round so there are schools that can do this if you need more information on this do well to reach out to me using my details on here all right moving on we are going to masters now for master students is a little easier because they already have a degree leading up to the master's degree whether you have ond hnd or you have a four-year degree or five years as the case is you can assess masters directly into some of these schools all the schools anyone you like but there is a catch here if you are coming for public universities there are some things you need to do in order for you to be prepared to apply what are these things number one there is something they call homologation Homologation is bringing your titulo, your degree certificate, up to the equip to change your equivalence. So basically, um, your grading system in your country is not the same with what is applicable in Spain. And in order for you to convert this to what is applicable in Spain, you need to do your homologation. You know, I've done a video on how to do this as well. Do well to check it out on here. So after you've homologated your transcript of record you now have the equivalence 
you need to legalize for some schools some schools will request that you legalize your documents because it's not from the uh, european union but usually it's not requested during pre-enrollment it's usually requested during enrollment and that is when you are sure that they have picked you among the people that they are going to admit you need to contact the university you are going to reach out to these schools with, with using their email asking them what the requirement is sometimes they even go to the site all those things are standard procedure they'll put it there that you need your transcript you need your degree certificate you need a motivational letter you need a recommendation letter for some schools you need international passport you need english proficiency if you're coming for an english course a course that is taught entirely in english or spanish proficiency if you're coming for a course that is taught entirely in spanish so these are the basic requirements that some of these schools would ask of you so it's good you have this at the back of your head if you're planning to apply maybe next year or this year all right guys so you know i told you that it's usually very difficult to get into public schools um government institutions government universities in spain if you're coming as a foreigner and this is even harder when you're coming for very competitive courses like you know computer science related courses and there are some courses that are very competitive everybody wants to study those courses you know so you need to do your research now to find out the courses that you can do that is related to that one you like but it's not exactly the same and it's not that competitive like you can easily wriggle your way into getting admission do you get me so this is something you have to consider very well because if you want those schools you may not be able to like get but there are also some schools that when you apply on time you stand a better chance so these things are is research you need to do if you need help because that is why people use consultants because these people have you know they've walked that street before and they know where to apply for you to be able to get into those universities so if you need help do want to reach out to me as well you've gotten everything you need you apply you are being given the admission um then you can now start preparing for your visa but this video we're not going to be talking about visa we're just talking about what and what you need to get prepared in order to apply for university or undergraduate studies studies or master's degree in spain it can it can be really dicey if you don't have the right kind of information it can be hard if you don't have the right kind of information so thank you very much for joining me remember that i work with authorized spanish translators and yes some schools request that you translate all your documents into spanish for you to even submit even from the pre enrollment stage if this is your own condition then you need to be using my service for this and in case you need other services of mine please do well to contact me i am here and i'll be in my dm one hour after i post the video to get your questions and answer them all right see you on my next one till then hasta luego